I think God will ever lead us astray. Unless you don't listen. <laughs> well, yeah, if you're not listening, you're not asking, you get to the altar and be like, well, how did I get here? Right? <laughs> right? We'll get into that a little later. But you never want to wake up and look at your partner and say, who are you? That's scary. Oh. That is scary. Oh That's scary. Amen? That's right. That's right. <laughs> you can recognize traits. Yes. So a lot of times what ends up happening is that we're ignoring the things that God is showing us during that process. Red flags. <laughs> That's it. The red flags. And what ends up happening is that we, we, we are compromising and, and, and sometimes it's also a guilt trip on ourselves. So we're trying to tell ourselves, you know what, you're being too picky. You're being selfish. You're being prideful. Right, you're 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 not that great to expect better from them. Mm, right. But that's a trap in itself, because these red red signs, red flags, are things indicators of things that will progress and will grow later on. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So it, it's important not to ignore it. Not to ignore it. Yeah. Amen. Everybody hearing that? Yeah. When the red flag goes up, <laughs> we look away. Amen. <laughs> we all have God. questions. Be yes. sure to input your questions. Online, put your questions in the chat, and we'll get to them a little later, okay? Amen. All right, and if you have questions out there, of course we're coming out there, so we're coming out there. Um, to lead up to that, uh, we have a question here. How do I love myself the way God intended me to be loved? Mm. My God. Because it leads a lot into what you were talking about, because you have to love yourself to know the love you deserve. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. That's right. And and what it does is it it actually starts from understanding the will of God. And I just did a broadcast actually with uh, Tanya about that um, last Sunday. The will of God, getting to know God, establishing your relationship with God first, so that you understand who you are. Yes. That's right. That's right. When you don't understand, when you don't take the time to understand who you are in God you lose a big chunk chunk of who you are as a person. And, and here's the joke about it. The strongest parts about us are what we find in God. The weakest parts about us are what we are already without God. So we are walking around without the lack of understanding of how great we are, how beautiful we are, how strong we are, how precious we are, because we refuse to understand who God is in our lives and what his will and his desire is for us. So when somebody comes into the picture that you're supposed to join together with and, and you're, you're like, you know, um, sometimes they think that I'm beautiful, but other times they don't. And they're trying to tell you who you should be and you don't know who you are. What you do is you start to assimilate. Yeah. That's what ends up happening. It, it, and this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This can even be friendships. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You start to become what they tell you you are. Mm -hmm. And so without the level of understanding of who you are by reading the word of God and knowing how much God treasures you and, 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 and loves you, and, and, and think so highly of you and have great things to, for your future in plan, in order, and in progress, what you will do is that you will miss out on your destiny. You will miss out on your, your, your good, good glow up. You know, you will miss out on, on, on the blessing that God has in store for you. And the devil just wants to, you know, take the opportunity to do that. To push you off track. To tell you, look, I know you think you're going to be this, but let me show you a different way. I know you think that you're supposed to be this, but let me show you another way. For those of you who have been in relationships where that has happened before, even abusive relationships, you know how easy it is for these things to happen. You have a path. You, 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 you were so strong and understanding who you were going into it. By the time you're out of that relationship, you don't even remember your name. You don't know who you are. Sometimes we connect with people who are identity snatchers. They go and, and they want to be with you because they like what it is that they see. They really just want to be you. 
And the easiest way for them to do that is to connect with you. And then bit by bit, they start to tear down your name, tear down your self-esteem, project different things on you that has nothing to do with who you are or who God called you to be. And if you're not careful, and if you're not watchful in the spirit, what ends up happening? You say yes to their projections of who you are. And you step away from who it is that God said for you to be. So that's what ends up happening to us. My God. My God. It happened to me. My God. It happened to me. Amen. Sometimes you don't even realize it. And the scariest part, it's a slow buildup. It doesn't happen right away. Yes, that's right. All of a sudden, you share the same interests. All of a sudden, oh, yeah, I like that, too. You do that, too? You go. Yeah. And slowly start to lose yourself. That's so right. let's get into the next question, because I think 